drink mingled with gall, and when he had taste thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him, and part his garment, causing lot that it might fulfill which was spoken by the prophet, that parted the garments among them, and upon the vestment did they cast lots. Bless the Lord. Vinegar is a sour tasting liquid containing acid obtained from fermenting alcohol liquids. It is made of white wine, rendered acid, and was used as a common drink for Roman soldiers. This drink might be either called vinegar or wine in common language. According to the text, let us know that vinegar mingled with gall or more was the only thing Jesus had the opportunity to drink on the cross. More is a bitter substance produced in Arabia. It is often used to donate anything bitter. Gall is a bitter secretion from the liver. The word gall is also used to denote anything exceeding the bitter. There were two occasions where vinegar was offered to Jesus. The first drink was offered just before he was actually nailed to the cross, and the second occasion was at the end of the sixth awful hour of suffering, when he himself said, I thirst. And it is stated in Matthew 27 and verse 48. And straight away, one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink. The most important thing about this is that there was a difference between the two occasions. On the first one, on the first occasion, it was just vinegar that they was offered him. But in this case, it was offered mixed with gall or more. The wine that they drank in those days was very thin and sour could very well be described as vinegar. Matthew speak about God while Mark speak about Mark. However, both of them are speaking the same thing. Mark is simply identifying that what was put in, put in the drink while Matthew was speaking of the bitterness of the drink. What Mark called Mark in Matthew, it is called God because it was almost too bitter to drink. However, this mixed with sour wine was offered to him before he was crucified. The most important of all it is what happened on these two occasions. The first time, he was offered just vinegar. And Matthew and Mark tell us, he refused to drink it. But at the end of crucifixion, Jesus himself asked for something to drink. And when they gave him, when they gave him that vinegar mixed with more, he did drink it. That is what makes this so interesting. Why would he not drink the vinegar that was offered before? but later asked for something to drink, they acted and actually drank the vinegar and gall that was given to him. The answer lies within the drink itself, and the fact that they offered it just before he was crucified, St. Mark in the Gospel state that the sour wine and more was believed to be, to be have not, no critic effect. Mark 23, Mark 15, 23. Perhaps the sour more was given 
to, to a person crucified to intoxicate him and the attempt to diminish his suffering. There was nothing Jesus there was nothing Jesus did as much as the suffering that he would endure on the cross. Anything that could have eased his suffering would have been welcome if it was possible for him to have it. But after he tasted that vinegar, Jesus realized that he could not drink it if he was going to finish his work and to fulfill his Father's will. The vinegar mixed with God was a part of Jesus' suffering. As it is written in chapter 19 and verse 30, when Jesus had received this drink, he said, it is finished. And with that, he bowed his head and gave up the spirit. Jesus came through the agony of his suffering. He endured all the pain from hell. He cried out from the, from the depth. But now he is in announcing victory. He moved into death, not defeated, but triumphant. And he, and he has breathed his last breath and said, it is finished. Jesus drink of the vinegar because life comes with bitterness. Your bitter experience at the end will always turn out to be a sweet testimony. Amen. God bless you. Amen.